With the Wheel of Life paintings, and talking about the inner wheel being held by the demon of samsara, we have uh, four uh, concentric wheels, or three concentric wheels around a, a central hub. The central hub, of course, uh, has the pig, the bird, and the snake. But outside of that, we, we of course, again have, uh, in most cases, uh, another concentric wheel, black and white in color, which is concerned with karma, cause and effect, and, and depicting the movement uh, through samsara. But the very large subjects of the Wheel of Life uh, within, within the concentric uh, circles is really the, the realms of existence, sometimes called the five paths in early uh, Buddhist texts, uh, because they're the paths uh, that are available to sentient beings. And in describing the Wheel of Life, um, out of the Vinaya Vibhanga text, then they describe five sections. Uh, in a lot of Himalayan art paintings, there's six sections, sometimes there's four. Uh, there doesn't have to be a fixed number in art, but textually we're really dealing with five. And those five are, are stipulated by the Buddha as being, as he says, beneath the hub paint Naraka. Naraka means the, the hells and on its two sides paint animals and hungry ghosts, then on the top paint humans and gods. Now, then in the text, the Buddha goes on further to say that the human realm is composed of the four continents, and so these should be also painted. Ah, well, now we, 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 we get a little bit of a problem because in, in most Himalayan style painting, uh, uh, Buddhist painting, Nepal, Bhutan, Tibet, and uh, other areas that follow this style, such as Northern China and Mongolia, we really don't find these, uh, these four continents depicted. What we, what we do have, and uh, especially in modern times, especially in the last uh, maybe two, three hundred years, what we have is we have uh, the Wheel of Life is separated from the four continents, and the Wheel of Life is depicted uh, as a vertical, two-dimensional, uh, diagrammatic, didactic uh, 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 figure uh, with scenes. But then the Mount Meru and the four continents in detail are painted separately as a mural next to the Wheel of Life in many uh, uh, monasteries, many the temples of monasteries. Um, so the root text, uh, the Vinaya Vibhanga, teaches it all as one, but in art of the last few hundred years, we treat it as uh, two uh, sort of um, subjects within the topic of the Wheel of Life. So this is very interesting, and it also allows us to have more flexibility with understanding how the sections work. Sometimes the, the gods realm is divided into gods and then uh, the anti-gods or asuras. Um, sometimes the, the hell scenes are, are divided up into the, the main uh, divisions of the hells, but, but, but that's fine. It's all still within uh, 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 the main section directly at the bottom of the Wheel of Life. So it's very interesting to compare the original textual source and then to look at the variations that have happened. And this really has to be done chronologically. The earliest painting we have in order uh, that we can use to study the sections is the Ajanta Cave mural from the third, fourth, maybe 5th century, I'm not sure exactly on the date. Then we have some early uh, paintings in West Tibet. Then we have a, a mural in Dunhuang in the Yulin Cave. So the Yulin Cave is in the Dunhuang kind of general area, but it's several hours away um, by modern uh, car. Uh, so we, we have these early uh, uh, paintings to look at to study the sections. And then when we get into uh, Tibetan material and Himalayan material, generally we only have uh, scroll work. It's very hard to find, um, it's very hard to find early 
Wheel of Life paintings that have not been repainted, and it's very difficult to find um, early uh, scroll work paintings. Most are from the 17th century to the present, if not all of them. So this was just an introduction into the sections. There's really a lot going on with the with the Wheel of Life paintings from a, from a, really from a religious context point of view, but also very much from an art history point of view. So press the like button, you can uh, subscribe, you can uh, forward, you can also um, visit us on Horror on Patreon and uh, uh, you can help support the work we do by joining Horror on Patreon. We have uh, longer videos, we have uh, unpublished articles and we have also we have images that are not yet posted to the Horror website and not yet catalogued.